this is Nicole with Ironwood Studios. The game is Pacific Drive. Tell us a little about Pacific Drive. So Pacific Drive is a run-based survival crafting game. Um, we're going to have lots of different customizations for your station wagon that you're taking through the Olympic Exclusion Zone. So tell us a little about that, the Olympic Exclusion Zone, because when I played the demo, there was, there was a lot going on. <laughs> Yep, there is a lot going on in the Olympic Exclusion Zone. This is an alternative history of the Olympic Peninsula that kind of got taken over by a government subsidiary in the 50s, and now it's the 90s, and things have been kind of marinating in some government experience experiments for about 40 years now, and you're trapped in here with your station wagon trying to figure out what's been going on. So you mentioned, you know, some... I've heard some people say, you know, roguelike elements. So we're we looking at a game with one long run. Is it individual runs? Like, how long does a uh, average Pacific run, Pacific Drive run last? So it is run based in the sense that you'll be returning to your garage every run in between, whether you succeed or fail. Um, and that's kind of the roguelike element of it, right? You're taking these trips into the zone to craft and gather materials to upgrade your car and the garage. Um, and in these runs can vary in length. So there we have a whole like route planning map that's set up to be as long as you want it to be. You can pick one node for short, like quick 15 minute trips, or if you really want to get into the nitty gritty, we're gonna have uh, three different biomes total and probably, you know, if you want to take a good six hour run, if you feel like it. Now, of course, one of the big aspects of the game is maintaining your car. What was sort of the idea behind having the main focus be a car, not just that sort of an old station wagon, you know, and upgrading it all these different ways? Yeah, so one of the biggest things that we've been focusing on is the aspect of kind of making that relationship with your car, right? It isn't like a lot of the other survival crafting games where you just come across a junk car and you're like, oh, I'm going to drive this for four minutes and trash it and then find a new one. The station wagon is, there's something special about the station wagon, and it's the thing keeping you alive in the zone, so you've got to keep it repaired. Cool, cool. What sort of release are we looking at for the game? Um, so we're planning on releasing on PC and PlayStation 5 in early 2024. Early 2024, okay. And finally, the big question, why should people buy and play Pacific Drive? Pacific Drive is one of the most exciting games that I've seen in a while that kind of crosses a bunch of different genres and really offers a fresh experience and a different player experience every time that you go through it. Awesome. Once again, this is Nicole for Pacific Drive. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Please make sure to like the video, leave a comment, and subscribe to see more videos two times a week from Game Boy Roulette, Dollar Store Gaming, 10 Things You Missed, and much, much more. I'm Brian J, and I'll see you next time.